everyone. Welcome to Algo Bloom Boutique. If you guys are new here, please hit that bell notification and subscribe button. If you guys want to learn about embroidery, like Photoshop things, um, just running an Etsy shop, that's what I do here. I do sewing, embroidery, and giving you guys tips and tricks. So today I'm coming on here and we're gonna do a screen record of how I made this. If you guys are interested in this, so this is a um, hang tag that I made with my Cricut maker. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. And I, you could do like a print and cut, but I only wanted to, I guess I didn't wanna do a print and cut because I wanna maximize like the whole page of the paper that I'm using. And I'm using just a white car stall, like eight by eight and a half by 11. So if you do a print and cut, it always have that registration black uh, box around it. So you don't get like the maximum cut around it. And plus, even with the writing, it's so pretty, you guys. So the Cricut wrote all this and cut everything out for me. You guys can see that. So let's go to Cricut Design Space right now, and I'm going to open it up. So I'm going to do this. You guys might not see me on the camera because I'm going to be opening this up so you guys can see the whole screen here. So anyways, so I already made the tag. So th this is a tag, but we're going to make one together. So you guys can go to Etsy and buy like your SVG. You guys can buy whatever tags you guys want. So we go to Etsy here. Okay, so you guys can just type in tag SVG. So you guys can choose whatever shape you guys want. Like this one's only a dollar if you guys just want like the simple tag. This is only $1.99, you guys. I think I bought this one. Yeah, I did buy this one. So you get like all this. It's only two bucks. It doesn't cost that much. So you just buy that. And then what you do is you come here and you upload the image to Cricut or drag it in. So I already bought the file and then I download it already. You see that? So let's choose just this simple one. So I'm gonna drag it in. You guys can uh, use the, if you guys don't wanna pay $2 for this, you guys can even make your own shape and Cricut Design Space and do it yourself. But, you know, for two bucks, it's not even that bad. Continue, continue, and then you're gonna choose a cut image only. So now I'm gonna bring this in. There you go, I brought it in and it's really big. So for the tag, we're gonna go up here and unlock this. I think my tag was like you could do like one in one point five or two inch. I think I'm gonna do two by four. That was the same size. That's the size that I did. I think I did like two by three or I think I did like three by three because because mine was like a circle. But this one I'm gonna do like two by four. So it's gonna look like that. I think probably two by three. It's probably too long. So let's do two inch. It's it's in inches, okay? So two inch by three inch. So that's how it's gonna look. And then I'm gonna fill it with white so I can see my writing. So it's white now. So for you to use the feature of the writing, you need to have, pay for fonts, okay? I'm gonna pay, I pay for these Cricut fonts. 
And I think there is a way around it, but I haven't figured it out. So this is the way that I figured it out by watching other YouTube tutorial. So I'm going to hit text. And here's the text. So I'm going to do... I'm going to put my... Um, you guys can... For hang tags, you guys can do washing instruction. If you didn't put the washing instruction on your... Um, clothing tag you can do the wash instruction here but i already put the wash instructions so i'm going to put just my logo my my name of my business and then the type of item is it so it's a baby bloomer so that's why i put baby bloomer and then the content because i don't have the content on my um my clothing label so i'm putting the I'm putting the um, fiber content onto the hang tag. You can even put something like handmade with love or something. Whatever you guys want to put on your hang tag. But the main thing is just whatever you didn't put on your clothing label, then just put it on, on the hang tag. So, so for the cricket to write um, fonts out, I think it can only do like fonts that are um, not really thick, you know. So you have to go over here and select your font. I think you can even um, bring the font stuff in here too if you want. If you guys want to learn like how to bring in the fonts and use them, I can do another tutorial on that. But today, just for the sake of this video, we're just focusing on this tag and how you can make your Cricut Maker to write your wording and then cut it out. So if you choose a font like this, it's... um. It's pretty thick, but then it will, it will turn into something like this because this is how Cricut recognize it to write, write it out. Because you gotta go up here, the style right here. So you're gonna go to like operation, and instead of cut, like if you make it a cut file, this is how it will look. So you you would do style and then regular, see? When it's regular, it's gonna be like this because this is how um, it cuts out for like vinyl or whatever, you know, whatever you want to cut it out of. It's going to cut out like that. But if you want Cricut to write it, you need to... You need to um, highlight again. And then put this to writing. See, when you do that, it change it to writing and then Cricut recognize that. So I don't like how this is. I'm gonna I'm gonna do another text box in and I'm just gonna put this baby bloomer one hundred percent cotton and then this if, size is too large move 12. you can resize it and then i'm gonna delete all this i'm gonna delete this boutique just because the, i don't like the space in there it's too big I'm going to do another text box just for the boutique part. Boutique. I'm going to resize it. And this, I'm going to make it big.
So that's it, you guys. I just did this really simple. And you guys can make a print and cut if you guys don't want your Cricut to write anything. So I'm going to make this tag a little bit smaller. I don't like the spacing here, so I'm going to delete the continent and just... Just do that, and then do another text box here. Just do 100% content. So these font, you need to pay on Cricut to use, because this is the Cricut font. But I think I'm sure you, you guys can do it with um, the font. And plus, you're not selling these. So it's just for you to hang it on your... Um, on your clothing item. I'm going to do 2.5 here. So I think I like this more 2.5. And then we're going to change the font of these because I, I don't like um, to be the same font. I'm just going to choose. There, so that's it, you guys. And then for for you to cut it and write it at the same time, you need to highlight all this. Uh, you don't want to highlight this one. This one's already done. So highlight this, and then just click attach, and then go to make it. That's it, you guys. And then you guys see here, I use a Cricut font that I didn't have on hand already so I had to pay like 10 bucks so I'm not I'm not gonna even cut this I already cut out the example that I show you guys here so that's all I'm, I just want to show you guys how you guys can make your own hang tag with whatever car stock you already have and if you guys don't have a printer you guys just get the Cricut pen and just use the pen to write everything if you don't have nice and writing <laughs> you know i wouldn't want to write it so let the cricket write it for you if you don't have a printer and if you have a cricket you don't have a printer you can do what i do or you just like the look of like um it looked like almost like handwriting then you can do the cricket without the printer because i just don't like the printer with the restoration mark because you're losing a lot of the error of the paper so I did it this way. It's it's just fun to do something different, and I like the look of it. So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys like this video. So if you guys are not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you guys can get notified when I upload or go live because I do do lives here too. And if you guys have any questions or anything, you guys can leave it in the description below or message me on Instagram because I answer most of the messages on Instagram. I know that I put my email down, but I don't check the email as often as I'm on Instagram and TikTok more. So if you guys message me there, follow me there if you guys want to see like, you know, a little snippet of video or clip of what I'm working on next because I upload um, those little short video on to um, TikTok and then sometimes I'll put it on YouTube but then mostly it's on TikTok. So anyway you guys, have a good day. Goodbye.